Alright gentlemen, we're back and what we're going to do now is we're going to learn how to glaze our dish. Now remember from my previous video, I told you you don't want to just go to throwing heat on this dish, they will crack. So you want to take your torch and you want to turn it on. Get you some gas flowing there. Add you a little bit of oxygen. And you just want a little heat coming out of there. And then we just want to play it around on the surface of the dish. Now one of the problems that a lot of people have is they put too much glazing on this dish and it will tend to make your gold or your silver get stuck up in that flux. All you need is a light coating on this dish. You don't want to drop it all in the bottom of this dish. It's just a pool. You can't. You don't really want to just drop it in there and try to move it around. That's not going to work. You can't just put it in there like water and spill it around. You need to kind of coat the dish, and as you melt it, it will it will bond with the dish and spread out like wetting the surface of something with water. And if you'll notice our dish is starting to get hot and glow in places there and that's what we want. This borax tends to soak up moisture from the air so when we first apply it it's going to swell and puff up about like uh, instant potatoes I guess you would call it instant potato flakes. But once we get our dish a little warm there, all right. Now, what we're going to want to do at this point is we're going to want to take some borax. And we're just going to lightly cover the bottom portion of that dish. So let me get this around here. We're just going to take a little bit and sprinkle it over the top and allow it to fall in there like that. And give it a second to kind of dry up. And then we're going to apply some heat to it. And just get the dish hot. You don't have to move it around. This stuff will move itself around. going to apply just a little sprinkle more, not much, just a little sprinkle. Just let it fall off in there. And then we're going to take our dish and lightly tilt it sideways so we can get these edges. And especially right here around this lip area. And as you can see, it's just puffed and swelled up. And we're just going to take our heat again and apply it to the sides until it gets good and glowing red hot. And if any of y'all have ever seen polyurethane 
depending on uh, tables or wood floors, how shiny it is. That's what you're looking for when you're done with your dish. You're looking for a light glazing. It looks almost like clear ice. And again, I'm going to add just a little more around the edges. Just lightly sprinkling. You don't want pools of this stuff anywhere. And again, pay special attention to your lip area out here. come back and apply some heat and you gentlemen will have to excuse some of these shots if you wonder why it's kind of dark it's because it's night time and it was like a hundred something degrees here today and any of y'all that have ever set over a torch knows how hot this torch gets so I decided to wait until the sun went down before I come out here and started messing with this hot but I believe you can get enough definition and detail out of the video that you can understand and see what I'm doing. Make sure we heat the bottom again good. Now when we add this silver to this dish, there is no need for no flux whatsoever. This is pure silver in a clean glazed dish. You don't need any flux. And if you do, you haven't done your job properly. Okay, let's kind of give that a second to cool there and I'll let you look at that dish. And if you'll notice, it is shiny all the way around that dish, just like it's got a coat of fresh poly, including the lip area right here. And if you'll notice, the bowl is still white. There's no metals in it. When we finish melting this pure silver, this dish should look just as good as it does now. This dish should last you for many, many uses, unless you melt something trashy in here. This should be only for your clean silver. You need a separate dish for your cemented silver. Now we're going to cut away for just a minute and we're going to come back and I'm going to show you how to continue to melt your silver crystals.